How's it going Starseekers, my name's Gotcake and welcome to this Star or Shovelware review of Active Neurons, a game where you have to solve puzzles by bumping your shiny white cube into other cubes, whilst avoiding pink cubes, red cubes and black holes. As always, if you enjoy this review, do it the honours of a like, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest reviews on the channel. So Active Neuron sees you taking control of the power of Thor, otherwise known as the White Cube, and the game breaks you in real gently by first teaching you the basics. You can only move your cube in straight lines, either vertically or horizontally, and you can't turn or stop once you begin moving, your cube will come to a stop once it collides with something. In order to complete a level, you need to charge the neurons in it. What this means in layman terms is basically you need to bump your white cube into the empty pulsing cubes and create some sparkles. Levels can contain multiple empty cubes, and to begin with you'll learn how to utilise the walls in each level to manoeuvre your cube in order to activate them all and continue to the next level. After completing 10 levels, you're treated to some wonderful particle effects before being taken to the level select menu. Here you'll find your next node unlocked, containing your next set of 10 levels. There are 12 stages in the game, each containing 10 levels, and I'll do the maths for you, as I'm used to using my brain after playing this game. That's 120 levels in total. Your first 8 stages are contained within this brain area, and the final 4 form each part of this body. As you dive into your first real set of levels, your first new mechanic is introduced, this being the deadly red cubes. These are best avoided, as coming into contact with them will turn your poor cube to dust, resulting in you having to start the level over. The only way to destroy these destructive red thoughts is by neutralising them with positive green thoughts. Basically just smash the green cubes into the red cubes. So as you work your way through these levels, they become progressively more difficult, and each time you complete a set of 10 levels, you'll unlock the next stage. If at any point you make a mistake or get stuck in a level, you can quickly restart it by pushing the Y button. Now each and every stage you play provides you with a new challenge to tackle by introducing a new mechanic alongside the ones from the previous levels. Some examples of what to expect include yellow neurons which can unlock doors in a level, blue neurons which can stop your movement but are destroyed on contact, and purple neurotransmitters which teleport you from one location in the level to another. This process of constantly introducing new mechanics not only results in the puzzles becoming increasingly more complex, but it also makes it so that levels in the game never feel repetitive, and the various gameplay features never feel overused. Unlike some puzzle games that are played recently, levels in Active Neurons actually feel like thought was put into them and that each level was designed with purpose. Now the game itself is not massively difficult, puzzle game veterans will likely complete all the levels in a few hours, but I didn't get the impression that the game was aiming to be be as challenging or as complex as something like The Witness. For a start, the game's music is relaxing and atmospheric and it sets the tempo just nicely. Another reason is the addition of the solution button. By pressing X, you'll be given a step-by-step -step guide from start to finish on how to complete a level. Now this is great if you're struggling to get started on a level or can't work out the last bit, and you can stop the solution at any time by pressing the R button. I won't lie, I may have used it myself a couple of times in my playthrough. On the whole though, because it's a more casual puzzle game, I think Active Neurons would appeal to a wider audience. Younger gamers or people who usually struggle at these type of games would get just as much enjoyment out of the game as someone who has played any number of other puzzle games. Now I've mentioned all these different colours in the game, but people with colour blindness needn't worry either as the game has got you guys covered too. In the settings menu there are options to turn on icons for the different neurons in the game and also a monochrome setting which removes colours altogether. So now we come to my rating of the game. Now I rate games from 1 to 5, with 5 stars being the highest of course. There's also the shovel worst stamp of approval reserved only for the worst of games. And for a rating I've decided to give Active Neurons 3 out of 5 stars. As a lover of puzzle games, I can personally say that I had a great time with the game from start to finish, and I've really only got two negative points to say about the game. The first is that in some levels, the solution was apparent right from the start, as it was only possible to move in one direction, which greatly narrowed down the solution to the level. And the second is that there isn't really any replayability once you've played through the game once. But if you enjoy puzzle games, and want something a little more relaxing, or something to get the kids brains working for a change, I definitely suggest picking up Active Neurons when it comes out at the end of the month. The game's out on the 29th of April, and you can pick it up from the UK Switch eStore for £4.49, or from the US eStore for $3.99. The game's also coming out for Xbox One, and though I couldn't find any shop images, it should also be releasing on the PlayStation 4 and the PS Vita, 
Alternatively, you can also get the game on Steam, alongside its sequel, Active Neurons 2. And that's it for this review of Active Neurons. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for future Switch indie game reviews. For now though, I just want to thank all of you once again for watching, and until next time, game on.